new and upcoming SRC-21s, said to be competition for Yamaha's immensely popular R7, or at least that's what the manufacturer of this new bike CF Moto think. So with CF making huge strides in the motorcycle industry, and having been in cahoots with the Austrian brand KTM since 2013, the manufacturers sneakily managed to acquire access to the American markets, where they have been dominating the ATV and UTV sector since around late 2005. As well as the launch of their long-anticipated 800MT, CF's been working on a new middleweight sports bike that may be a new budget-friendly rival in the middleweight sports category. Chinese automaker CF Moto has revealed its SRC21 concept mid-displacement sports bike. It is unclear whether it would head to India in production guise, designed by the brand's R&D Europe Modena 40 Center, the two-wheeler has a head-turning look and gets top-notch hardware. Under the hood, it draws power from KTM's 799 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine. The CF Moto SR C21 concept has golden colored front forks, a muscular fuel tank, a rider only saddle, a windscreen, winglets, a single sided swing arm, and twin SC project exhausts. It is expected to have a digital instrument console, a full LED setup for lighting, and ride on designer blacked out wheels. Its curb weight and fuel storage capacity will be revealed at the time of launch. The CF Moto SR C21 concept is likely to run on a 799 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine that generates a maximum power of 73.6 horsepower and a peak torque of 68 newton meters. Its gearbox info is yet to be announced. To ensure the safety of the rider, the CF Moto SR C21 concept is equipped with Brembo source disc brakes with cooling covers on both the front as well as rear wheels. Meanwhile, suspension duties on the Super Sport bike are taken care of by fully adjustable Ollins forks on the front side and a link type mono shock unit on the rear end. The CF Moto SR C21 concept might either head to production or its components may feature in the brand's upcoming models. It could take on rivals such as the Aprilia RS660 and Yamaha YZF R7. friendly rival in the middleweight sports category. So what do we actually expect from this new middleweight contender? Well with CF Moto currently in ownership of over half of KTM, the Chinese brand's in the perfect position to create something between KTM's RC390 and its new flagship supersport, the RC8C. 
With that said, the new C-21's coming into this hotly contested sector, with its eyes wide open, yeah. and clearly flaunting some top-notch hardware, hinting that it could indeed pack some serious performance, and with components including a fully adjustable GP spec Owens fork setup, with a low-tab mono shock to the rear, the bike suspension definitely looks to be top-notch. In the braking department, CF's also kept up the quality level, with what looks to be a pair of dual 320mm discs, with four top Brembo's up front, with a single Brembo to the rear. And though the bike at this stage Florence Moto GP style disc caliper cooling covers that screen the performance, as we've seen on many bikes before, when the C21 actually hits the show in floor next year, unfortunately the bike's unlikely to have kept them. So this new bike from CF Motos, unlike anything the company's ever attempted to date, and given that they share the same Kiska Design Studios with KTM, the jury's still out on whether it'll be good enough to stand up to what everyone expects from the Austrian bike maker. And to be completely honest with you, even if it doesn't quite match up, this is still a big step forward for CF Moto. Not to mention a possible threat to the likes of the Aprilia RS660, and of course the aforementioned Yamaha R7. So the official word on the bike's engine's unclear at the moment, but given that the bike appears to be sporting dual SC project exhausts, we reckon the C21's more than likely to use KTM 799cc parallel twin engine as a base. CF's already used this engine in the 700 CLX, and it's the same unit you'll find in the 800 MT. So what are we actually looking at here from this engine? Well, 73 horses, and 68 newton meters at 6,500 RPM. And to put that into context, Yamaha's R7, by contrast, shows similar specs, with a power output of 72.4 horsepower, and 67 newton meters of torque at 6,500 RPM. The SRC21 will clearly be a thoroughly cutting-edge superbike, that'll be clothed in an ultra-sleek bodywork, that looks to include, forged carbon fiber trim, and a pair of aerodynamic winglets, as well as some built-in frame sliders and integrated LED lighting, to the front and rear of the bike. Assuming that CF Moto goes with the ingredients they currently have, the end result could be a cheaper, more dumbed-down, accessible replica of the immense RC8C. All told, CF Moto could have a very important contender on their hands, and if they stick to the script, and produce a middleweight sports bike, costing under $9,000, it's sure to draw some serious attention from the worldwide biking community. Unsprung weight, comes in the form of a very nice looking pair of forged six-spoke wheels, shod in some more than capable track-grade Pirelli Supercorsa tires, with a single-sided swing arm to the rear. And like with most modern bikes nowadays, you'll be getting a TFT display that I'm sure will help you navigate through a multitude of riding setups that you're probably going to get with this.